With ArcU on the Meta Quest, you can use pass-through mode to mix realities. Toggle pass-through mode on, so you can see your ArcU work table in your real surroundings. You can design at model scale, just like you normally do in VR mode. Scale in and out, or pan the model around with the grip buttons. To design on top of your real world, it's good to first align the work table to your physical environment. Then simply teleport to a human skill. When you enter human skill, the work table will disappear to not interfere with your design. You can add virtual objects to your environment, walk around them, and pick them up just like you interact with other objects in Arceo. The key to mixing realities is the pass-through material. When you draw with the pass-through material, you will see a white outline around physical objects. Turning pass-through mode off will then show these physical objects in VR. When back in VR, you can even erase a part of the real environment by editing pass-through shape. With pass-through mode on, you can use the standard Arceo cube primitive or the wall primitive to approximate your real surroundings. You can press the green duplicate button to create additional wall segments while extruding a wall. In VR mode, you can create magic portals between your real world and virtual world. Simply cut a hole into any shape painted with the pass through material to see through the physical object into the virtual world. While in VR mode, you can also bring real world objects into the scene using the pass through material. Aligning the real world and the virtual one may be needed if you zoom or pan the scene, or if you remove the headset and put it back on. Use one or both grip buttons to align the virtual scene manually to the real world. RQ includes an experimental spatial anchor feature to save in your scene and align automatically. To get started, make sure your pass-through mode is toggled on. Then teleport the human skill close to a vertical surface and make sure your scene is aligned. Place both controllers with the tracking rings completely flush against the surface. While holding the controller steady, keep both grip buttons pressed until you see a green progress bar on top of your controller. There will be a slight delay until you see this. If no progress bar appears, you may not be in a one-to-one -one scale or the controllers may not be fully aligned against the vertical surface. Make sure you don't leave the one-to-one -one scale while rotating your scene. To realign the scene, make sure pass-through mode is activated and you place the primary controller in the same position as before, flush against the surface. Press the grip button and keep it pressed until you see the progress bar complete. If other people are working with you inside Arcio in the same physical space, they can also align their scene using the same spatial anchor.